Hello everyone and today I am going to tell you how to find out the roots of a quadratic equation by the help of Scilab. Okay, so I am using Scilab 5.5.2 version and here, see here, first, uh, first of all you have to write the clear, then uh, to find the roots of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c, clear. And uh, here I have taken a is equal to 5, b is equal to minus 2, c is equal to minus 8 and d is the discriminant that is b square minus 4ac and uh, you have to give the semicolons it will be better for you so now x1 mindfully uh, listen x1 is equal to minus b plus square root of the discriminant divided by 2a but you should put a bracket here minus b plus square root of d you should put uh, a bracket that means you should write a minus b plus square root of d within bracket slash 2 star a clear then semicolon then similarly for x2 you should write minus b minus square root of d within the brackets then slash 2 star a that means minus b plus minus root over of b square minus 4 is divided by 2a there, are, there will be two roots x1 and x2 and uh, as you have known if d is less than 0 then the roots will be imaginary then display x1 x2 then uh, in this case the roots will be imaginary and uh, else if d is equal to 0 you should write double is equal to then display x1 x2 roots are real and equal if the discriminant is equal to 0 then the roots are equal else if d is greater than 0 then uh, display x1 x2 in which the roots are real and unequal then end okay now simply i am copying this one and let us see what will be the answer and I am uh, pasting in the console see here then press the enter key let us see what is the answer then finally see the roads are real and unequal and the roots are 1.4806248148474866 and minus 1.0806248474866 okay these are the two roots and uh, also you can uh, do like this see here and uh, without copying you can uh, execute here save and uh, the answer will be here see here I am showing you here the roots are real and unequal and the roots are this one ok so fantastic uh, values you are getting so in this way you can uh, get any roots of a quadratic equation so if you have any doubt then please ask me so that I can answer any question ok Thank you.